evening. <coughs> Excuse me. My name is Renee McDaniel. I'm a conservative Republican who's running for the office of Knox County Treasurer. I'm running to give Knox County a clear choice between two very different candidates. My opponent has mentioned that she's completed 11 years in the Treasurer's Office. She will tell you that she's familiar with every aspect of the Treasurer's Office as it's currently run. In her remarks last week at the 9-12 meeting, she said that she felt the office was doing a pretty good job with delinquencies. We both agree that the central function of the office is collecting property taxes. But I'm here to offer the voters a choice. I believe that we must do a much better job collecting delinquent taxes. The most recent year where figures were published by the, the Department of Taxation is 2010. The delinquency rate for that year was 6.3%. During the previous four years, the delinquency rate ranged from 6.7 to 7.3%. These delinquencies translate into dollars. And these delinquencies impact everybody here in this room. They impact the quality of life that you have in the community. And in 2010, that translated to over three and a half million dollars. I serve as the president of the East Knox School Board. I know the harsh impact that uncollected property taxes have on budgets of our public school systems. It's also true for our townships and the important services they provide or they're unable to provide. This is true for our local fire departments, senior citizen centers, and other critical agencies in our community who rely on property taxes for a large portion of their budgets. Every county has some delinquencies true. But I've networked with other counties, other county treasurers who believe a 2% tax with delinquency tax rate is acceptable. That's nearly 5% difference from what Knox County has currently. Can this rate be achieved in Knox County? I think it can. But doing so will require technological and systematic changes that can only be brought about with someone with the necessary business and educational background. I have 25 years of business and accounting experience in corporate America. I have a master's in business administration from Capital University, and I'm a certified public accountant. My license requires that I complete 40 hours of continuing education each year, which means I stay up, up to date on the latest business trends. I'm the most qualified candidate to streamline the office procedures and implement current technology that will allow us to significantly reduce our delinquency rate and dramatically increase our cash flow into our local schools, townships, and fire departments. I have a proven track record for financial management. I stand ready, willing, and able. I would consider it an honor to serve as your next county treasurer, to lead this important office to the next level as we prepare, prepare for increased demands at the local level in the days ahead. I ask you for your votes. And I thank the Women's Republican Club for sponsoring this event tonight. A vote for Renee McDaniel is a vote for forward progress. Thank you. Any questions for Renee? Renee, how does that tax similar population, parcel numbers, uh, distribution of population, uh, court systems, yeah, number of judges, prosecutor staff, treasurer staff. Can you compare apples to apples? For the I cannot. I strictly looked at dollars. I looked at dollars of assessed property value and compared that to the delinquency rate. And, and, and a follow-up, which counties had the 2%? Uh, Delaware shoots for 2% every year. Score or he told me that was his goal. Um, I did not go back historically and look to see how accurate he is on that or how effective he is on that. Um, he also explained to me that it that it's important to measure it each year at the same time. What's available from the, the treasurer or from the uh, Department of Taxation's office might be different than what he uses to make his calculation. He said he uses the figures as of December every year. So what, what's available in the Department of Taxation he thought it was from October time frame. It says calendar year, but I don't know that. Are there any other 
Um, <coughs> my question is, is it the treasurer's decision whether or not they foreclose or what kind of um, workout plan they do, or is it not, you know, once they're delinquent by 180 days or 365 days, the foreclosure process starts? I mean, how much decision making does the treasurer really have in that position? Well, my understanding is once someone gets to the point where I believe they missed three tax cycles, they, be, they become delinquent. They get on the delinquent list, and that's the list that would be published in the newspaper. Beyond that, then I think it's a cooperation, a cooperative effort to determine what the next step is. Of course, we try to get the taxpayer to pay every step along the way. They're given options and different opportunities to pay. But I believe it's the treasurer's office who goes down through the list and picks and chooses which properties, since only 11 can be processed each month, it's up to the treasurer's office to decide who is foreclosed on.